I retired from the water company about five years ago. I worked there for 18 years. And before that, I worked in the oil fields for 20 years. One of the individuals I used, worked with had said they were going to start, try and start a different uh, bank credit union. And I said, well, I'll join. I don't mind at all. It's something to help the community. The thing I remember about the credit union, it was right off of Oak Street in a small suite. And I thought, oh, this is different. This is nicer, because all the other banks of credit union were in large offices. And so we could go in there and do what we needed to do and come out. We didn't have to wait long in long lines. Well, our mission was to uh, a key to a better tomorrow. Our credit union was different because we are here to serve the underserved. So meaning we would give each and every one a chance like at a car loan or a mortgage loan. We made it where it would be easier. Vicki knows my, my sisters and my brother-in-laws and you know, my coworkers from, uh, from Cal Water and from um, uh, the oil fields too. It's a little family thing, you know, little family affair. So it's nice. Our location where we're at downtown, we get a lot of homeless and, you know, people that's just out on the street. They still have to be treated just like the person that I would see come in in a suit and tie or dress. I make no difference in the person, no matter what they look like, what their skin color is or whatever. They're all, when they come to me, they're all equal as one. Farm workers historically here in the Central Valley were very much discriminated against and continue to this day. Many banks, the traditional lending institutions, would not even allow farm workers to open up bank accounts. Well, farm workers have a hard time getting loans. Uh, one of the things is, of course, that they do seasonal work. And when we started the credit union, they didn't have unemployment insurance, which meant basically when one crop season ended, they had to travel to, to the next crop. They really didn't have credit. And they, a lot of times they didn't even have savings because uh, it was pretty much week by week, you know, payday to payday. Uh, so it was a very dire situation. So when we found out that you could form a credit union and that the people who were members of the credit union could actually own the bank, we thought that was just the most incredible idea. Uh, so we did the research on it and then found, hey, we could probably qualify to start a credit union. The credit union meant giving farm workers economic independence and that was sort of the driving force behind having farm workers establish a financial institution in which they would be able to control their own financial destiny. Cesar's wife, Helen Favela Chavez, uh, was very good at numbers. So we had our board meeting of the National Farm Workers Association and we're so excited about being able to open up the first farm worker credit union in the United States of America. And we thought, well, who's going to run it? And Cesar said, well, I think Helen should run it. And so while we're meeting, Helen is in the kitchen. Cesar yells out to Helen. So Helen, we're nominating you to be uh, the director of the, of the credit union, the Farm Worker Credit Union. And she yells to him, she said, oh no, I'm not going to do that. And then everybody said, well, we'll, we'll make a motion to name Helen the first director and second the motion, pass the motion. And Helen Chavez became the first director of the Farm Worker Credit Union. People would come in, they would need loans for a funeral. They would need loans uh, to purchase a car or they'd have uh, uh, mechanical I issues with their vehicles and they needed a loan uh, to service their vehicles so they can go back out and work in the fields. After Caesar passed away, some of the people wanted to close the credit union. I thought, oh, we can't do that. I said Caesar would roll over in his grave because this was his baby. I mean, this is a, one thing he was so proud of. And so I said to the board, why don't we just merge with the current central credit union? So we looked around and, you know, and we tried to find 
a comparable peer credit union that would be able to continue to service the farm workers. And uh, we sat down with the board uh, then and we uh, discussed Paul Chavez, Caesar's son and I, and we discussed how we may be able to merge and form a marriage. And so we had a lot of compatibility and our characteristics were pretty much the same. And so we thought it would be a good fit. And so that's when we went ahead and made the decision uh, to merge with uh, Kern Central and so that we could continue uh, that legacy of the farm workers movement as part of the Kern Central Credit Union. Members have stayed with us throughout the years because they see that we are not only just a good uh, credit union, but just that we do, we want to serve the underserved and let them know that they are able to apply for a mortgage loan and it can happen. Uh, expanding economic opportunity means social equity. By giving people the ability to establish financial equity, that means that if a low-income family is given the resources to purchase a home and build equity, well now they have money to send their children to college, they have money to fix the wash machine when it breaks, they have money to buy a car because they need a car to drive to the fields or or, or, or drive to their job, so then it gives them employment, independence. So it all starts with having access to capital. I think that makes us so proud because what started out as a little farm worker credit union now is part of, of a much larger, not only a credit union, but an organization that is fighting uh, for the financial rights of everyone. It's a CISA Puede Credit Union. Thank you.